Hello guys, welcome to a new video. In this video, we are going to be performing a PCAP or a packet capture in a Palo Alto Networks firewall. And you can do a PCAP or a packet capture um, from any interface, from any data interface, data plane interface. Uh, so therefore you cannot do a packet capture on, a man on the management interface. Um, on the management interface, what you could do is a TCP dump, and we are going to do that on another video. Uh, so, the interface that I'm going to be performing this PCAP, it is going to be on Ethernet 1 slash 2. So, I'm going to be pinging from this Linux device that I have over here um, to the Palo Alto Networks firewall. So, it is going to be a continuous pin so we can capture all the packets. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead and do a or configure a filter. Um, and the way that you do that is by going into the Palo Alto Networks web GUI. So we are going to go into this active firewall. You want to go into monitor. And in here you want to go down where you see the packet capture option uh, from here the first thing that you want to do is select the manage filter so from over here we are going to add a filter uh, you can say id1 and the ingress interface is the interface um, from where the from where it is going to come from so it's going to come from it's going to go inside via one slash two uh, you can add a source a source you can add over here a an IP address so I'm gonna add the source is 192.168 that let me see that 1.2 which is this one let me verify that okay let's do IF config verify that we have that and yep 192.168.1.2 that that so the source is coming from this Linux device um, and if you want to set the destination is 192.168.1.1 because I'm going to be pinging uh, this interface which is 192.168.1.1 if you want to add a uh, source ports destination ports you can add all of that but I'm just going to keep it like this and after you add that the first thing that you want to do is you want to turn on the filtering um, and the way that you do that is by selecting this button and turning that on so that's going to start um, capturing traffic right um, and the way that you can now see this first we need to go into the Linux device and let's go ahead and ping 192.168.1.1 that that one. it's going to be a continuous ping but it's going to keep pinging uh, so we are going to go into the Palo Alto Networks CLI and from over here we are going to execute a command which is a show counter global filter delta yes packet filter yes um, so let's go ahead and log in okay so this um, this CLI it's just a simple way to check if the filter is working um, and like I said you have to do the show counter uh, global filter delta yes packet filter yes okay and over here it is going to show you all the data that you can see you can see how the counters shown is 14 um, if you do it again you can see that now it is 11 so if you go ahead and stop this filter and go back to the CLI you're going to see that now it's 13 it is 13 and now it's 12 so it is still showing the, uh, the 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 number so it's still filtering 
and another command that you could do is when you add no counters when 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 no counters are, are display uh, you can do a show counter global filter packet filter yes delta yes the delta yes indicates I want to view the counters that have incremented since the last time I executed this command the packet yes indicates I want to see only global counters that match my filters so therefore if you just want to see the one that matches your the filters you can just see you can just do the packet filter yes and you can see everything that matches your filter you can see that you have 22 okay you can see that you have just 22 let's go ahead and turn it turn that bad boy on again and let's go ahead and go back to the CLI and now it should be matching my filter and you can see that the numbers are going up uh, let's go ahead and do it again uh, you can see 300 346 and all that you can see that the packet received is a 566 let's go ahead and do it again it is still a 566 the ones received um, and if you want to see the um, if you just want to see the view counters that have incremented since the last time I executed this command then you want to do the Delta yes so you do Delta yes and that's going to show you the packets since you have um, uh, the packets that have incremented since the last time you executed that command let's go ahead and do it again and you can see 13 going up you can see now that is only three and four so it has reset so you have received three packets since you last executed that command if we do it again how many have we received nine since we executed that command um, so that's the difference between the packet yes uh, the packet filter yes indicates I want to see only global counters that match my filters and if you do the Delta yes um, with the Delta yes it indicates that I want to view the counters that have incremented since the last time I executed this command so those are the commands that you can execute to see your um, the traffic that has matched your filter and now um, we you can see that we, we see a lot of or that, that there are a bunch of counters um, I have added um, that, that you can see over here in the Palo Alto Networks firewall but if you just want to see um, it's the, the color stages in Palo Alto so if you want to see um, the drop stage um, which is where packets get discarded you can see that or you can see the, the stage where where they receive it um, that just only show you the packets that have been received or the packet you can also do a transmit you can see the packets that are going out that have been sent out on the egress egress out and um, receive is the ingress the transmit is the egress out um, the firewall is the stage uh, that captures packets in the firewall stage uh, so let's go ahead and do a couple pack uh, a couple of packet capture so we are going to add just the receive the stage it is going to be the receive and the file we are going to call it uh, receive PCAP. You can name it whatever you want. You just gotta add at the end dot PCAP. Okay, we can press OK. Uh, you can see right now we are still pinging over here. So what's going to happen is we are going to let it ping, then we are going to stop it over here. And after we stop that, um, it is what it's going to do is it is going to if you refresh it. Let's go ahead and oops I never turn it on so let's go ahead and turn it on um, that's why it wasn't working let's go ahead and ping again there we go so 
we were we sent one two three four five six seven packets right so and that's going that should be showing up in the receive stage as you can see right now receive pcap you can see it gives you dates and you can see the size of it um, I have the even G um, pro so in the even G pro they give you a docker image which is this image and this image has the Wireshark integrated in it so if you down if you select this it is going to download a pcap and you are going to be able to open the Wireshark and Wireshark should show whenever it opens it is going to open that pcap and it's going to show the packets that we receive right so we received we sent seven as you can see right here we sent seven we received seven packets and we have 14 because we receive right we received seven and we reply seven and that's why we have uh, that's why we have 14 and in here you can see the source where it is coming from it is coming from this Linux device 1.2.1.8.1.2 you can see the destination 192.168.1.1. You can see the protocol, it's an ICMP pin request. You can see the ID, the sequence, and all that good stuff. Uh, if you want to go into the frame, you can go ahead and, and take a look at the frame. You can see the internet protocol version, which is IPv4, the source 192.168.1.2, destination uh, the one the one. So if you want to expand, you can see the version, you can see the header, you can see all that good stuff. Um, so you can see everything from here from the pcap that 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 we did right um and that's how you are able to do a you're able to configure a filter and then you, we did a couple of cli commands so you can see those uh, and if we turn that off let's go ahead and go to the palo alto see if we see anything uh, we can see that since we executed that that's all we have received and you can see now that, that they are less because we are not pinging anymore um, and I also turn off that filter uh, so this is it uh, for this video guys I show you how you were able to configure filter we went to the CLI take a look at the filters I also show you how to create a packet capture a receive packet capture uh, you can also do uh, different stages you can if you want to change that uh, you can do instead of a receive one you can just do a drop which show you all the packets that were dropped you can see the um, packets that are in the firewall stage you can see the the packets that we have received and you can see the packet that has been transmitted which means that they were sent out to the egress interface so that's it for this video guys if you guys enjoyed this video why don't you just go ahead and follow me on twitter at tcna daily tips thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next one bye bye